We're gonna finish Sekiro. We're gonna finish Sekiro. We're gonna finish Sekiro. This is the right. last episode of Sekiro, and then we'll be done with Sekiro, and then we'll be. I don't have enough syllables. <laughs> That's why you need, you need to do Man in a Box, because this is. And we'll be done with Trader Sekiro. Dota, we chocolate covered will. raisins, no preservatives, <laughs> no artificial colors or play for that word. No, that's not net worth. That's net weight. <laughs> Mortality severed. Mm. Saint Ishi. A single minded killing machine of a man. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Get his dragon flash. That's the uh, the sort of X shape. Ashina cross, but with, you know, a bunch of a token range. <laughs> <laughs> His younger years, Ishin was the devil with the sword, spending his days in pursuit of life or death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. Hmm. Okay. This is the, uh, that was, that was Sekiro. We're going to do the ending now. I'm going to actually kind of go over to the side here. and Make a, a backup? Make a little quick backup right here. Uh, that's the hardest boss in the game. Uh, I'm glad it didn't take me five to seven hours. It was uh, a rough first experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That old man's dead. Again. Again, again. Third time. Wolf, where are you? What are we, we going to do about our boy? I'm going to give him the ever blossom. Well, we went through the trouble of getting it, so yeah. let's give them both. Yeah. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. So you're leaving? Yes. I too will live for every moment. And then I will pass on. Just as my shinobi did for me.
Lady Emma, I owe much to you as well. Good old Miyazaki. Do a good job. Yeah. It was a well-made video game. Now, also I could say that I beat it with that frickin' devil bell on. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's been on this whole time, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Just imagine everything doing a little bit less damage. <laughs> forgot <laughs> there are two other endings well there's a sure ending we saw that one mm -hmm. there's two other endings and i realized that i might have screwed up because i was like oh where's the third option i was like uh butts <laughs> i forgot a side quest <laughs> oh no <laughs> david i forgot a side quest <laughs> okay i was gonna skip the credits just for now yeah, because we can do Kuro lives. We can do Kuro So the, the other option we have right now is, uh, which we could we could load up and look at, but I, I kind of want to go back and mm -hmm. get the... Third option. Yeah, the third option. Uh, I'm remembering now why I forgot. Why if that did makes you sense. forget? It's because the other... It, it doesn't have... There's no... Um, there's no mini bosses that you fight. So I was trying to figure out where are the mini bosses. I was like, oh yeah, there's two mini bosses you have to get from the Ever Blossom quest. Okay. But the other one does not have mini bosses on it. Uh, but we, we can take a look at uh, what we got from beaten Sword mm -hmm. Saint. One who returns from the great beyond does so at the peak of their prosperity. Ishin coveted strength and all manner of techniques throughout his mortal struggle. He wished for war until his final hour, and that is precisely what he got. Ah. Uh. We also got his combat art. The dragon flash. Nice. <laughs> That's some good range. That's good range on that. Let's go. Let's go look at the second monitor. See what's <laughs> living over here. <laughs> ah, good old, good old cheat engine. Uh, mix, Sh mix. Sh Chet and Gioni. <laughs> Chet, Ch yes, Ch <laughs> Chats and John is uh so useful, quite, so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna be quite, yeah, quite useful. Let's kick that up a little bit. All right, our our boy Chat <laughs> and John, <laughs> who I I assume is Italian. I mean, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I mean, I, you're pronouncing it like I did. So if it's wrong, blame me. Let's travel to Taps. Can go to the. Where is it? It's the temple. So Simpo Temple and then Sanctum. In order to earn uh, earn our best ending, we're going to have to enlist the help of uh, the other divine child here. Ah. Shinobi of the divine air, you are welcome here. Shinobi of the divine air, this time the rice grew well. Now, hold out your hand. Please. Bless us with bountiful harvest. Got some rice. Thank you. Cool. Rice is very precious. Please come again, should you want for more. I apologize. The rice is not yet ready for... That's okay. That's all right. Thanks for the rice. Okay. Let's go talk to our boy. Hmm. I hope he's all right. Huh? Oh, Wolf. My lord. Ah, this is for you. Sweet rice ball. Can't 
crafted with feelings of resolve and a reluctance to part ways. Such deep emotions tend to be mumbled to oneself rather than shared. Dragon tears. <laughs> How does this work? I think we just go back and forth doing deliveries. Hmm. <laughs> so uh, should, I, should I come back? <laughs> oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air, I awaited your return. I apologize. Okay. What kind of? I've, look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on the internet and we're gonna see what kind of from software BS <laughs> I had to jump through. I completely forgot about her too. <laughs> And you're like, let's talk to the other divine child. I was like, what? It's like, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> too shy to eat it in front of me. <laughs> well, that's fine too. I mean, we. Can, I think that this is unrelated. So we we can we can eat the sweets, or we could keep the sweets for I mean, later. If you can eat it without issue, then just eat it in front of Koro. All right, we'll do it. Is the first one. This one, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Very good. <laughs> that it is. That it is. How was the rice ball? It was delicious. I bet it was. Ever since I was little, I've enjoyed making sweets. I used to always sneak into the kitchen back at the Hirata estate. Maybe one day, I'll open up a tea house, if I ever have the time. Look at this little dude, think about the future. <laughs> Did you give the rice to the divine heir? Yes, he made rice balls out of it. The divine heir of the dragon's heritage? <laughs> he made them himself. His full title. Yes. And he was enthusiastic, and I had one. It was very good. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's good to hear. Oh, I see. He may be the divine heir of the dragon's heritage, but he's still human after all. What am I saying? Of course he is. I am sure he had his doubts about severing immortality as well. Yet even so, it is the path he chose. There is something I would like to ask you, Shinobi of the divine heir. Yes. What is his name? Lord Kuro. Lord Kuro. It has a fine ring to it. I should like to meet him someday. If only your character model could walk. <laughs> you could hover. Shinobi of the you are welcome. Can you give her Shinobi more persimmons? I do have oh extra my. persimmons. Eat it. Yes, I will. Mm hmm. Oh, nom, 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 nom. We actually have three persimmons and a tarot persimmon. There's nothing quite like a persimmon. What does a tarot that persimmon so do? Delicious. I see. I don't know. Just finish. I'll just get the rest of them here. Persimmon. Oh my. Eat it. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh. Okay. I think that's all I have of those. Let's throw this one in the pile. I've brought a persimmon. Oh my. Eat it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh. What? <laughs> So Slightly different reading, okay. Sweet and delicious. Persimmons are truly crimson gems. She's still in the background. Okay, oh, she's okay. moved. She can move. At least off screen. <laughs> I'm telling you, she just Baron Harkonnens it. <laughs> yep, yeah, she's got a floating chair. I don't want to lose them. If I were to choose the path of returning the dragon's heritage, it may come to pass that I would have to leave all of you. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> My friends, listen. He is actually quite kind. He gave me this. Hello? Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Heir. I didn't hear you come in. It is thanks to you that I've been able to have a deep conversation with my friends. With the children of the Rejuvenating Waters? Yes. 
There is something I would like to discuss. I believe we should aim not to sever the dragon's heritage, but instead to return it to its rightful place. Return the dragon's blood? That's right. The dragon's heritage was set free from its homeland, and it drifted here to Japan. Its power was never meant for this land. Until something is done, it will continue to corrupt the lives of those who encounter it. The dragon's heritage and those connected to it. It is only right that they return home. To the west. To the birthplace of the divine dragon. However, there is one problem. I am unsure of the exact destination. Who would know? Perhaps the high priest of Senpo Temple. Or... And he is... He's the founder of Senpo Temple. I wonder how old he actually is. He can be found in a narrow cave, not far from the inner sanctum. Shinobi of the Divine Air. Yes? This path differs from that of the one to sever immortality. I do not wish to force my opinion upon you. Should you wish to return the dragon's heritage, then perhaps you should seek out the High Senpo Priest. I'll think about it. <laughs> think about it, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Get rid of some of these folks here. Huh. Yeah, there's an item here now. <laughs> Holy chapter, Dragon's Return. Sacred passage on a path to enlightenment. Undying, I pray for the dragon's return. Undying, lo, let us wait an age for the divine heir to assimilate the cold dragon tears, for the cradle to consume the pear of serpentine fruits. The candle endure giving him shelter, granting his return to the west. You'll recall that we killed a lot of snake deity things. Yeah. Uh, and we have we have actually already done that part of the quest. Uh, we've retrieved the wet and dry snake hearts. So ah. Hello. Shinobi of the Have you perhaps met with the I did. Him. Yes. He was dead. The high priest was infested. How could this come to be? I do not know. Have you looked around However, the temple lately? It's actually probably best yeah. that she didn't. Look. Hmm. I see. Consuming two persimmons of the serpent will allow one to become a cradle for the divine heir. This will make it possible to return the dragon's heritage to its homeland. I, I shall become the cradle. You're sure of this? Of course. I am the only surviving divine child of the rejuvenating waters. Death does not come easily to me. Shinobi of the divine air, if you wish to take the path to return the dragon's heritage, then bring me two persimmons of the serpent. Where should I begin? I believe it is said a stained red. Yeah, we, we, we got Shinobi that part. Shinobi of the divine air. I sure have. Give them? Yes, I've found them. The shade of red. It is as I expected. A persimmon is an apt comparison. You're actually going to eat them? Of course. Doing so will allow me <laughs> to become a cradle to return the dragon's heritage to its power. Okay, we, yes, so you that you literally put them a mummified you. finger Please in your mouth to make a whistle? Time. Don't judge. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't like that. Our boy. <laughs> That's not a great subtitle. Okay, she still has the normal number of heads. No. Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air? Are you there? Your, your eyes. Uh, you have returned, Shinobi of the Divine Air. It appears... I have succeeded in becoming the cradle. Could you please take my hand? Yes. What? It is cold, much like an ice house. 
Which is why, see? My tears. They freeze as they float That's on my face. That's a wild These thing to say. Tears. Take them. Frozen tears. Shed by the divine child of rejuvenation once she became the cradle. They are but frozen drops. Having Kuro drink both the dragon tears and frozen tears, the cradling ritual can be performed. Cold dragon tears are just that. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Frozen tears. Does this mean... Yes, I believe this is what the text referred to as cold dragon tears. The divine heir must drink them together with the dragon tears of the divine realm. If he does so, I believe Lord Kuro will be able to rest within the cradle. Shinobi, what would you... If you wish to return the... Okay, all right. All right, we have our item. Okay. So now just run through the last part of the game again? Sort of, kind of. I did say that I have a bunch of save files. Ah, okay. Uh, let's, yes, yeah, so let's look at my menu here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. First playthrough, second half, viewing plus plus. What do I want here? I wonder, did I get it on my second playthrough or do the first? I think I did do the first playthrough. <laughs> End game with block divine child quest. Cool. This will do. <laughs> I didn't realize you had, like, maintained a backup of every save. <laughs> yes, I've got I've got saves for days, <laughs> uh, which is convenient for this exact moment. Uh, it actually means we don't actually have to use uh, a Oh. Uh, because we can uh, we can go right back to the choice here. Oh, okay. Where are you? So we're, this time we have our full three three options here. We've seen the middle option. Right. Uh, would you like to see the top option before yes. doing the one that requires the Let's tears? Okay. Murder so our here's, boy. This is if you don't. Yeah, this is if you don't get the ever blossom by doing the side quest with the. Uh, Owl father. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. These ties of immortality. Her boy. Shinobi arrives seeking strength. Uh, so the endings of Sekiro are like 
a bunch better than all of the Dark Souls endings. <laughs> right, because they're all endings. Because <laughs> you had, yeah, because they're actual endings. Even the bad endings are all, um, uh, what is it, foreshadowed and thematic. Right. So the sure ending is like, what would happen if you get blood drunk? The uh, this ending is what happens. He becomes a sculptor. It's like that kind mm-hmm. of fits. Uh, then the the first ending we got, the sort of middle ending is. The boy boy lives, but then you're immortal because you have the dragon's blood, and then you're like you just kind of terminator to it a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Wolf, where are you? I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. We must leave this place, my lord. Lord Kuro, may you be at rest. Allow me to hold you in my heart. Everyone? It is time. I must depart. The journey to sever our ties with fate will be a very long one indeed. And yet, you still wish to join us. I do. You have my thanks, Shinobi of the Dragon. Know that Kuro shares my joy. Let us depart to the west. To the birthplace of the Divine Dragon. There you go, it's the end of Sakura. I wasn't expecting, uh, like, a rock a s- or a Sora Ventus situation, but... Uh, yeah, it, it became Kingdom Hearts a little bit at the end, and then, uh, Journey to Literal the West. Little Journey to the West, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Uh... So our boy is kind of, yeah, he kind of kind of soared up a little yeah, bit there. Yeah, our boys became our boy. Uh, I like I like this ending. It's a little weird, but it also is like a lot more hopeful than every other from soccer right. game. Right, so. well, more hopeful than every other ending in this game. Uh huh. So they just go off on go off on the journey, journey to the west to find the, the birthplace of the divine mm. dragon. I assume if there's uh, a, uh, they've already announced a second row too, correct? Oh. Uh, no, absolutely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and I hope not, but if they do, this is an obvious direction right. to go. They would either do this or the Shora ending. 
<laughs> yeah, the Shura ending. That's just Dynasty Warriors. I mean, I would. <laughs> they just make a, a, a Sekiro Dynasty Warriors crossover. I would. Okay, real talk. I would love to see From Software's take on a Dynasty Warriors or Earth Defense Force style game. That would be wild. <laughs> it would. Uh. So Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, is a very, very good game. Mm. After playing it for a year and a half now. <laughs> right. Uh, I've grown to appreciate the combat a lot more than initially. Right. It is pro it is the best game that they've made as far as the game side right. of things. Uh, like uh, setting wise, story wise, uh, it's not my favorite um, time right. period. So, fantasy Sengoku era is popular. Uh, sort yeah. of fictional right. setting. I think the character arcs themselves were good, but like the interior ministry thing like all that was just like eh. Yeah, it's just kind of uh, vassals and warlords and I'm still not entirely sure even after going through the whole thing why we were even fighting Ashina troops sometimes. It seems like we kind of were on their side. Because like even, even Ishin who is supposedly the patriarch, mm -hmm. right? He's totally cool with us just being there and protecting Kuro, and he's like, yeah, you, you should probably stop my grandson. He's kind of going about things in a very wrong way. I mean, obviously he dies mm -hmm. eventually, so it's, uh, can't support that. But yeah, it's uh, a lot more straightforward, which is nice. There's an actual storyline. Right, yeah. Character arcs, endings are not um, 10 seconds of hot garbage which is every Dark Souls yeah. game. And then the next Dark Souls games has the same endings. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Dark Souls 2. Where at first it didn't give you, you an ending, ending and yeah. then it gave you a choice. And, yeah, at first it didn't really have a choice, but then all the DLC comes out and you get an actual uh, end of the Curse of the mm -hmm. Undead. Which was amazing. Uh, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Move, move forward the uh, overall plot line. And then there's Dark Souls 3. We don't have to talk about Dark Souls yeah, 3 again. we spent plenty <laughs> we'll talk about talking it a lot. about Dark Souls 3. It's about Sekiro. Yeah. I think uh, lore-wise, I don't know, it's 50-50 for me. So I really like the dark fantasy stuff that I do with uh, Demon mm -hmm. Souls. Dark Souls is pretty good too, the first one. Uh, I really like the Demon Souls stuff as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel um, like... And then Bloodborne. So it's like 50-50. It's like, I really like the Bloodborne sort of aesthetic. Right. You know, the cosmic horror direction. Right. I just... I feel, for me personally, game-wise, uh, I wasn't able to enjoy Bloodborne the same way I was able to enjoy Dark Souls, and I think I'd be able to enjoy Demon Souls. Don't know yet, though. Um just because the game was so not my cup of tea to play. But, yeah, I liked the... Yep, you can definitely see the iterative right. design of their uh, combat systems. Yeah. Everything gets uh, faster and more action-heavy. And then this is sort of the perfected form mm. of that, uh, making parries the main feature, calling the deflections... Mm making it so that it's a necessary part of the flow of combat rather than the um, extremely one-sided, uh, what is the risk reward right. <laughs> that it is in every... Uh, it, it Bloodborne, they started to step away, literally, because you could do it from a distance. Right. <laughs> so it's like you actually might decide to do a, uh, like a bullet right. parry every now and then. But in Dark Souls, like... You're doing a, a dex character, and you're like, oh, I can parry. Cool. Oh, I missed. I died. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. And the only time you really parried in Dark Souls 1 was with enemies that it was easy to do. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah, or particular bosses that are super susceptible to it. But other than that, you're just like, I mean, it's a slow-paced game. Shield. Shield, mm -hmm. poke range range is good and if you are trying to be more aggressive with uh, it you don't use parries yes 
backstabs all day mm. long. Of course, Bloodborne decided to take away the shields, make it very dodgy, dodge mm-hmm. rolly, but it still had the stamina. Yeah. So you could you still have this like good action game that then you know you're like oh my my guy is tired because he dodge rolled two times and tried to attack with a heavy yeah. weapon. It also just feels like uh, that the stat increases in Bloodborne didn't matter uh, other than health after a point and like nothing ever felt like it made you actually more powerful except for laser beam eyes. Uh, sure. I mean, you can we actually see our lazulite <laughs> shark oh. in here. It's kind of got a little laser effect to it. Nice. But we did it. We're done. We're done. It was thoroughly enjoyable watching you play through this game and playing through two sections of it. Three sections? Thank you very much. I was I was happy with my performance for most of the bosses <laughs> <laughs> towards the end there. They are very difficult, and now they are dead forever. And you don't have to worry about them. <laughs> As you said, you have removed the final life bar. Well, if you have enjoyed this and the entire LP and all the things we do, uh, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It is the most direct way to support us uh, and the things we do. Uh, you know, also, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all that stuff. Um, but we love doing this stuff, and that is the most uh, direct way to help us do that. Also, we've spent over a year playing Sekiro. (laughs) So if you've stuck with us through the whole thing, or this is the first thing of ours you watched, thank you. We do love making this stuff. Sekiro! Shadows die twice. Over two days. (laughs) Damn it, Jeff. Remind. Underscore sharp F sharp <laughs> latest yeah C plus plus C sharp. Bet you weren't expecting it to be Kingdom Hearts, were you? I wasn't. No. 